All right, welcome to game three of round one of the Modern Preliminary. Um, I skipped ahead a bit here, um, apologies for that. Uh, opponent has kept five, and then went land go. So that likely, it's not it's not a cage, so it might be like a turn two Kyung Fiend, turn three big turn sort of hand, it could be like a Blood Moon hand, who knows? Or it could just be a Path to Exile. Um, I wasn't sure at this time whether the red-white prowess deck actually does run like Skullcrack and or Path Exile. Um, a lot of them do, even like main decks, so I believe like actually the post sport configuration should have like two summoners, uh, two um, pack negation to counteract that. Anyways, uh, let's talk about my hand here. Um, we got the two pain lands, which aren't uh, obviously great against red decks. Um, we do have the Allosaurus Rider, and we do have the Neo Form here. We can even go for a turn one, but I think that's unlikely for us to do. Um, it's it's also dirty in that like not only does it have Summoner's Pact, which we need to use, but we also may have to pitch the Nourish and Shoal, which isn't great. So I think ideally we draw like two green cards in a row, or like uh, at least one other green cards, or like an Allosaurus Rider, so we can keep the Nourish and Shoal one for one combo here. So let's see what we draw. All right, perfect. Non-pain land is good. I'm not looking forward to having to pitch the Nourishing Show if we have to combo, but they are on a multi-five, so depending on the texture of their hand, um, we can pass to turn through if we want to. Okay, so that's interesting. Not, not even a burn spell. So what do you got here? Kiln Fiend? Abbott. Okay, so that's a bit alarming. So they have the Blood Moon. Okay, so they have the Blood Moon, but they can't play it because that's not how Abbott works. So now we have the option of just waiting for the third land drop or going for it here. I generally like to air it on the side of going for it. Although, like, we have the installation against, like, Blood Moon because of the Mana Morphos, so I can see a world where we don't have to do that. This is interesting, because, like, um, making a third land drop is meaningful in that, like, you can pay for a Summoner's Pact uh, just with one uh, Summoning Script Guide. The positive thing is we do get to draw 14, guaranteed, and we do get to keep our Nourish and Show, although we lose our summer, uh, Life Goes On, so I think I'm actually just inclined to go for it here. Um, I think the floor is relatively high with Nourish and Show, and we have a Simming Spirit Guide, so we only need another Simming Spirit Guide and potentially a Manamorphose to pay for a uh, Summoner's Pact, even through a Blood Moon. Okay, so we're going to go for it. So let's keep the Nourish and Show in our hand. Let's cast Neoform. So we're definitely looking for a worm and more nourishing shows. Alright. Alright, so we right off the bat we already drew the worm, so that's game 15. Um keep in mind that we are at 35 cards in the library, so that means that if we draw cleanly by uh by seven, we're gonna end up at zero library uh, cards in the library. So that means that um we actually cannot make blue without drawing a card because we don't have wild canter we can only do so through mana morphos so we're going to need to refinagle the library a bit if we were to win this turn so let's gain 15. it's also like highly viable if we draw another simming spirit guide then we, we just like pass like making out a bunch of alistair writers and um have the uh pack payment up so let's see what, what i do here so we have another simming spirit guide we have two of them so the question is, do we keep going? And I think I, I think I'm just happy like passing here and then keeping the swimming spirit guides for what is it called for um the pack payment. I don't think there's any need to risk it, like because they don't have a soul scar mage, they can't even neuter the grizzle brand. So they literally need like land bolt 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 to kill the grizzle brand, and even then, like we have the Alistair's Riders to, and the uh, Neo Form to re-evolve into the uh, grizzle brand, second grizzle brand. So I think I like just like passing here. Let's see what we do. Yeah, like they they, they can't win in this spot. I think. So we're going to be happy here. Let's keep the mana and the mana morphos to insulate ourselves um, from uh, Blood Moon so we can pay for the Summoner's Pact even through a Blood Moon. And we have a Neo Form in case they somehow kill the Grizzle Brand. So we should be safe here. Okay, that's annoying. But we had accounted for this because we had the Neo Form, right? So we can re evolve into it. We can also just like win with like semi spirit guide and like um Alistair's Rider beat down. I mean, th these are going to attack for eight and we're going to have lethal in two turns, right? 
and they only have one card left in the library, so um, I would not panic. I think that we're in good shape. So I imagine that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so we decided to block there. So if we didn't block, then and they had a bolt, then they would um, it would go. We would go from thirteen to uh, five. Thirteen minus five is eight. Minus three is uh, five. And then I actually don't. I actually don't like the decision to block there. I think that like letting them through is fine. Going to five is a bit scary, but we can just like attack for eight to put, uh, threaten lethal, and then you'll form into an eight eight grizzlebrand. So I think I don't think I like the blocking there actually. That's why we uh, review these games. Okay, that's totally beatable. So what we can do is. Um, Use the two Simeon Spirit Guides and two lands to pay for the Pact, and then use the Land Drop and a Simeon Spirit Guide to uh, cast Neoform. So I think that's what I do. Perfect. Uh, opponent's on zero cards, so I, I have a hard time seeing them winning here. We'll attack for value, and then we'll Neoform into a Gristlebrand, and then that should be it. Yep. So this is this is an ex a great example of why having the second Grizzle brand is very helpful. So we can beat the first removal. All right. The only like they would have path X out already, so like skull crack is a consideration, but we're just still gonna attack. Okay. So they're gonna weaken it. Five is still good enough, I think. They're not any closer to killing us. So we draw we draw the um, seven there, go down to seven because there's no combination. There's very little combination of them um, killing us on the spot. It's, it has to be like exactly metamorphosed into like lightning bolt, which is like runner runner. And I think the percentage is low enough that it's worthwhile to try to like finish the game. Although I could see that beat not being right. Yeah, we immediately whiffed. We have the abrupt decay to keep us safe. I think the game is over here. And we're just gonna decay the. Soulscar Mage for for the funds, and then we win. So that was round one. Uh, we had some interesting decision points there, but we did squeak out a win against uh, Red White Prowess. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you for round two. Bye bye.